Hey VC, uh, Jeff back again. I uh, just thought I'd shoot, shoot a quick one here. Um, yeah, well, got a bit of a stack <laughs> of new stuff, so. Um, so I had a chance to listen to some of it over the weekend. So some of it was, uh, you know, birthday gifts, some of it was um, stuff I picked up during uh, sales, etc., etc. Because a lot of stuff going on right now. Uh, first one, um, this was a sale purchase uh, from um, SkinGraft. So if you know SkinGraft, you kind of have an idea what this sounds like. Uh, Pili Coit, Love um, Everywhere. Uh, I, I think this is their only U.S. Um, release, but um, yeah, uh, you can also get this as a French import. So it's a French uh, band. Um, you can get it in black or colored vinyl. This is like a purple splatter in this case. Uh, weird. If you know Skin Graft Records, you know it's going to be weird. Um, French No Wave, I guess, this is the best I can come up with. Um, a very kind of experimental. Uh, let's see. We got. Um, yeah, female drums, vocals, guitar vocals, oil can, floor tom, synth drum, electric, acoustic guitars, yada yada. Um, so it's very no wavy. Um, yeah, it's, it's an essential no, but it, it's pretty cool. Um, I, I'd give it a pretty solid four. It was one of those. Uh, it was like they were doing like the um, Black Friday sale or Monday sale or whatever. And, it was kind of like it, this was kind of kind of on my uh, want list on Bandcamp. I just said screw it and ordered it. Um, is it essential? Maybe not, but it's, it's fun. If you like No Wave, it's worth checking out. Uh, this was uh, from Platteroom. I did not pay. What was that seventeen, eighteen, whatever it was? Um, it was a few bucks, I think. Uh, Platteroom was doing their annual sale, so I picked it up. Uh, very much in the math rock vein. Um, instrumental. I uh, think like uh, was it Godspeed, you Black Emperor, or something like that, um, or uh, yeah, I don't even know anymore, man. Um, but it's pretty much a chill, very chill math rock. Um, you can put it in the background <laughs> as you're working, etc. Um, again, not, not probably essential, but pretty damn solid. Um, I, I'd go somewhere between a four, four and a half on this one. Um, not, I'm not the. I like math rock. I don't always get into it. Like yeah, um, yeah. It's like to, yeah, Tortoise. Yes, I want. It's like one of those bands. Like pretty chill instrumental uh, math rock. Um, yeah. So yeah, if you're into that thing, this is quite good. Uh, this is City of the Sun, and this is their. I think their second album, chapters three and four. So I guess it's like by side or something. Um, I, I just went kind of by the, I, I streamed a little bit, and I kind of went by the disguise ratings I went with this album, um, if I, you know, one and done, probably. Uh, chapters one and two are supposed to be good, too, so I think you can go, go with either one. So, was it City, what did I say, Cities of the Sun, or something? City of the Sun, <laughs> I don't know. It was a semi-blind purchase. Um, but, yeah, I did enjoy it. Sometimes you're in the mood about stuff. Uh, this is, I don't know how you pronounce that, Gogs or whatever, um, LP number two, Pre-Strike pre Sweep, um, this is, like, Ty Siegel, and, um, it's very much like that, the one with, the uh, he's got, the, oh, oh, man, never mind, I, I don't remember what it's called, Destroyer, or whatever, that, the one, um, it's definitely, yeah, it's like, it's a gatefold, but it's a single disc, um, nice packaging on this, um, yeah, it's Tyzeo, you kind of know what you're getting at. This is on the heavier side of his stuff, though. Um, yeah, again, I, I don't know if I could say essential. I, I like the uh, the album that's got like more of that white and red color. Um, I guess that was the first one. Uh, that one, I, I think I like a little bit more, but it's still pretty good. Um, got a good price on it, so happy to have that. Um, again, probably, probably a one and done for me for this band. Um, Definitely not one I'd throw on all the time just because it is pretty pretty hard rocking, but it's a, it's a great one. Um, I'm four four and a quarter maybe four and a quarter on that guy. Gogs I guess G O G G S. 
Um, this one was excellent. Um, so fall, this is a comp of uh, A-side singles from their uh, from their prime um, 80s period, golden years, uh, from 84 to 89. Um, so, yeah. I'm not sure this is, yeah, fall, I, I do need to pick up some more of their, their stuff. I need to get like, like witch trials and some other stuff, but um, but uh, yeah, this is pretty great. So white vinyl for what's worth. Um, kind of cool packaging. Uh, very uh, mag. Not, um, reminds me a lot of uh, King of Four or something, I guess. But yeah, pretty pretty damn good. Uh, four and a half all day long. An easy easy one. Um, yeah, haven't listened to this in a while. Just threw it on. UFO or, UFO or die. The name. It's not. I want to say chocolate synthesizer. But it was boredom. So it's a. It's a boredom side project. It's um, Yoshimi and uh, I was mess it up. Uh, Yam. It's I. Yama. Yamashita. Yamashi. Yamazaki. I don't know. It's I. Anyway, it's, it just says I on here. But um, Yama something. Yeah. I always mess it up. Uh, UFO or die gatefold and the cool thing with this one it actually has a really cool um yeah it's not the best sounding vinyl but yeah there is a black vinyl version which is not on discogs i saw, found that after i bought this um this is yeah, a japanese pressing um so uh i picked this up in uh, osaka it may have been from yoshimi or <laughs> yoshimi lookalike i don't know um one of my favorite record stores there uh so I found a really clean copy, and then I found uh, a black final version, which is not even in Discogs, uh, at Time Bomb Records, uh, after I went, uh, whatever. The the picture disc is really cool, so I, I don't know. It doesn't really, uh, all the, the noise from the picture disc doesn't distract too much, because it's pretty noisy to begin with. So it's, it's, it's boredoms, more or less, in the... Um, Super Roots, and yeah, it's got some of that little funkier stuff, but it also has got some pretty out there noisy kind of stuff, but it's not not full shredding yeah, kill, I'll blow your head off <laughs> uh, feedback uh, noise, I don't know um, UFO or Die, it's cassette something or other um, so, yeah, Unlimited Freak Out or Die, UFO or Die I just saw this cassette something I don't know anyway not for everyone but it's, it's an enjoyable listen um, pretty solid four there um, but yeah probably unless you're like a super super fan of uh, boredoms or something you're probably not gonna get into that anyway um did, 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 and then I gave uh, this one another listen material ob objects give this quite a few spins actually this is a really really good one highly recommend it. Um, Dom over the uh, seeking a thread. So passing through, uh, really nice packaging. EP highly recommend this one. Um, yes. And uh, jumping into CDs, I picked this up when Numero was doing their CD sale. They might still be if you can still get this for twenty bucks. It, it's a no-brainer. Do it. Um, so this is Bedhead, uh, 1992 through 1998, uh, has pretty much all their studio stuff. Um, I might, they actually have a live one too. I, I, I don't know, maybe next year I'll pick it up. It's not Bedhead for now, but I, I'm really getting into this band, so I might, I might pick up the, the live album. Um, so it has uh, three LPs and uh, you know, three albums plus it's got all their singles on another disc. So every um, and it reproduces all the artwork. Not that there's much going on there. There's a very minimalistic uh, artwork on the originals. And then uh, it has a. I, I tried getting through the book. It's not the most interesting book, I guess, unless you're like a super fan or something. Um, but yeah, way way more information than I'd ever need to know about that head. <laughs> They're just not uh, that much, they're, for me anyway, they're not all that interesting to read about. But uh, as far as sound wise, uh, you lump them in with like the, um, they, they, they don't fit any one category, but you, uh, most commonly they seem to be lumped in with the slow chord crowd. 
Um, so, kind of, you know, a little bit lo-fi at times. But, um, and the, they, are, they fall somewhere between codeines, um, like silver jews, and unwound. Um, they never get quite as wild as unwound, but uh, they, yeah, they, they get a little experimental, experimental at times, but nowhere near unwound's <laughs> level. Um, but yeah, if, if you like silver jews, you like codeine, you like um, unwound, you, you dig these guys. Yeah, it's a little bit emo y at times, but um, more often than not, they, it falls into that kind of slow core thing. So, nice box set, Bedhead, uh, 1992 through 98. Um, speaking of comps, yeah, excellent one. I've shown this before. Um, I don't know if that's going to be a one and done for me, but uh, for now, it's, I'm happy with that. Minutemen, and then I uh, gave this another listen. I, I actually been. I listen to this one pretty often, actually. I really, really do like it. Retro virus, um, not for everyone. Um, you know, no wave, noise, whatever. Video lunch uh, for me is for an app, but most people probably wouldn't care much for that. The, judging by their, uh, by the um, reviews on Discogs. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna stop it there. I still got a quick stack of new stuff. You know, Christmas coming up too, so we'll see where it goes. Um, I'm going to call it a night. Have a good one, guys. And let me upload this. Yeah, I hope everyone had a great uh, Thanksgiving. Or was that two weeks ago? <laughs> All right.